So we've often been told or we tell others that sales is a blend of art and science. And we get that, I think, conceptually. What does that mean when it comes to us as managers, as leaders of organizations, as we're inspiring single or dozens or hundreds or even thousands of salespeople to perform at great level? Well, we know the art, and that's probably going to be around the things like coaching and leadership. But what about the science? Because the science really is your ability not only to predict the behavior of your teams, but also to scale them and to be ready for any changes that happen in the economies or the environments or the competitors. We do this in a variety of ways, and one of them is in a module, a workshop that we call Inspect What You Expect. What should you be looking for in the data, in your CRM or in your pipeline to let you know what's going on? We are inundated with so many different reports and measurements and metrics. Are we capturing the right ones? Do they have any meaning and what do they mean? What are the gaps in our pipeline and how do I fill them? What are the conversion rates that I should be focused on so I know my reps are being successful at any given sales stage? How do we even collect this data? And how do I take that data, really understand it and analyze it, and then make good decisions based on that data? Not only decisions on what I should do with my salespeople and what I should do with my focus, but even around things around where should I apply resources? What territory needs more attention or needs less attention? Who needs more reps? And then beyond all that, how do I communicate all of this wonderful analysis and all these remedies upstairs to senior management, to the C-level, or to our investors or our advisors. Because at the end of the day, as sales manager, you are the feet on the street. You are the ones that ultimately own the prediction, which is all forecast is, the prediction of revenue. And your ability to understand what you're looking at is the first step in getting good at this. At some point, you have to admit, just like I had to admit, you have to stop basing your forecast only on the story time of others. Just what another rep tells you that deal may or may not happen at some point breaks down as an approach, as a scientific approach, to really understanding what's going on in your pipeline. Particularly if you want things that are gonna, uh, you wanna learn things that are gonna happen beyond the 30 or 60 day mark. So we teach this in great length in this workshop. Inspect what you expect. We show you how to build dashboards. We show you how to build dashboards that have meaning. We talk about metric collection, what to look for in those gaps, what to look for in conversion rates. And when we're done, you're not just going to understand this conceptually. You're actually going to have completed dashboards ready for you. And they might live in CRM, and they might live in a spreadsheet, but you're going to leave that program knowing exactly what barometers are important to you, what numbers you should be looking at, what they mean, and how to catch those things in real time so you can actually make changes that will impact your week, your, your month, your quarter, and your year. It's a very interactive session and one we tend to do in a small group. Even if those uh, managers are not in your organization, you'll be able to rely on the experiences of others in a very collaborative way so that you have a real technique that you probably have never learned before and like everything else in sales, not being an instinctive one. So when you're done, you can have some real confidence and control and comfort on what your reps are doing all day. Energetic, enthusiastic, inspiring. He knows there's not one single way to do things. Articulate, driven, very engaging, very lively. I learned a lot. Different, uh, you know, not only is delivery, but it's not some kind of sales process or methodology. It's real tactics that you can use right away. Jeff is the most dynamic trainer I've ever been around. Jeff's ability to decipher information and use the right words and distill it uh, into a way, in a way that audiences get and they want to do something with it, um, he's the best. I'm really excited to try some of this stuff out because I can't imagine it doing anything other than boosting my results considerably. Uh, you can take what he says and apply it to the work that you do. Um, it's tools that you can bring back. It makes you want to go out and sell and when you come from a timid place of not feeling completely comfortable about making a cold call, being able to walk out of there with confidence in one day speaks, speaks volumes to the person.